Hey again, everybody. Brandon Swanson here with you with the preseason top 25 poll today, number 23, Missouri. Yeah, who would have thunk that Missouri was in the SEC? Forgot they were. Thought they were in a league all by themselves, or some would call independent. However, today talking about Missouri, a team that has won the SEC East the last two seasons, believe it or not, they've been pretty darn good. So they really weren't thought to be anything a few years ago. They've come on strong. This next season, though, could be interesting. Pass rush, going to be key. Remember Michael Sam? You're probably saying, how can we forget that fucking guy? I know, you can't forget him, but he's gone. Offense, Matty Mock, he's coming back. Senior quarter, pardon me, junior quarterback, but he was very resilient in games last year and at the end of games last year. A quarterback who has resiliency, especially at the end of the year and at the end of games, that's a guy you want to lean on. Losing all three starting wide receivers again this year isn't going to be fun for Mizzou, but they're going to have to get through it. The returning senior runner, running back, Russell Hansbro, over 1,000 yards last year and 10 touchdowns. It's pretty good, isn't it? Well, he needs to get better. He needs to be more consistent. He needs to step up even more for the Missouri Tigers. The offensive line has experience, and that is always key and so helpful for any team that has a couple of question marks in other spots. Moving to the defense, the ends are going to be very young this year, so that's definitely going to be a question mark. The tackles will be better than ever, and look for a secondary that's going to be pretty darn good for the Tigers. They're solid, but they've got question marks. Is this a team? that can be as good as they were the last two years and win the SEC East? I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. The third straight SEC East crown. Can it happen? Well, here's the schedule. Here's how I'm looking at Missouri lining up this year. So first of all, they play Southeast Missouri Redhawks. Who cares? Where'd they come from? That's a win. Week two at Arkansas, Arkansas State. It's another win. Week three, Connecticut. That's an easy one. Four, five, and six as well. All wins. Six and O oh for Missouri to start the season. So after Connecticut, they play Kentucky, South Carolina, then the Florida Gators. And I went back and forth on the Florida Gators. But I just felt like Missouri had a little bit more offensively than Florida had. I picked Mizzou. But when it comes to week seven against Georgia at Georgia, Missouri is not going to be able to take them down. And that's going to be the first loss of the season. After Georgia, they're at Vanderbilt where they'll get the win. Then they will jump right back. Mississippi State. I'm sorry, Dak Prescott. He's going to get it done. Very good. He'll get it done through the air on the ground. Mississippi State wins that ball game. However, week 10, 11, and 12, BYU, Tennessee, and at Arkansas, Missouri's going to win. They end up 10-2, and 6-2 and two in the conference. On the east side, will Missouri take it this year? Folks, I'm telling you, it's going to be tough. I think it's going to be close. Georgia is going to get it on the east side. It's going to end up being Georgia, Alabama, and Bama's going to win. What's new? So, folks, that's going to wrap it up for talking about Missouri. Again, the number 23 team in our preseason top 25 poll. And please, click down below. Not, don't click down below, but comment down below. And let me know what you think. You think I'm an idiot? You might. Comment that. I'll laugh at it. However, if you agreed with me, you thought I had something good to say, also make that comment as well. Right over my shoulder here, up in the corner, is our SEC preview podcast. A lot of good things we talked about on there. I was right, Ricky was wrong, but again, nothing new there. So folks, a lot of fun. You can follow me at young underscore swan19 on Twitter. And you can also follow the Most Valuable Podcast at Most Valuable Pod. Folks, we will be back next time. Thanks so much for watching. Hey guys, like the video? Then hit that subscribe button. But if you liked it even more, you should check out our Patreon page. We have a lot of different rewards and goals for those of you who would love to support us. 
So make sure to click that link down in the description to check out those pretty kick-ass rewards.